In this worked example, all we have to do is write down what the complementary event is. So all we're doing is working out what the complementary event is. So, in this particular first one, tossing a coin and getting a head, what is the complement of doing that? If it doesn't land heads, what has to do? Tails. Go. The next one, rolling a die and getting a number less than five. What's the complement of that? Not less than five. There's more than just six. Five is not less than five. Does that make sense? So you can either get a five or a six. Both of those are not less than five. Just trying to put it on. All right, next one. Selecting a heart from the standard deck of cards. What is the complement of that? Not a heart. Always remember that whatever they've asked you, the complement is not that. Doesn't matter what the question is. Wait, isn't the answer would oh, be five or six, but it'd be um, less than five. It'd be a diamond. You could, yeah, you could do that. So we could do probability head, comma, so it's not head. But that's the same as saying probability tails. It's yeah. diamond. So at the moment, all we're doing is looking for what the result could be, not necessarily the notation. So with this one, if we don't want a heart, because we want to get the complement of getting a heart, what is our options? The clover. Yes. Diamond. Clubs. <laughs> well, they're all part of the suits. They're all cards. But they're the three suits. Diamonds, clubs, and spades. Everyone happy with that? I'll take that as a yes, everyone. Well, it says we want to get a heart. We want to get the complement of that. So basically, we're saying not a heart. So that's everything else. In order to go good in this exam, I have to take up gambling. Gambling always helps. In probability, or oh, sorry, probability always helps in gambling. Uh, but unfortunately, good at probabilities doesn't mean good at gambling, because gambling cheats. In any casino or any situation that you are gambling, there's a saying, the house always wins. If you have a look at a roulette wheel, you get paid $32. If you pick the number, you get paid $32 for every $1 you put in. In other words, it's a 32 to 1. There is more than 32 numbers on there which means you've got a 1 in 34 chance, you only get paid 32 bucks. Which means the house is always winning. Okay? The odds are never stacked in your favour, don't go in the hunger games. 